What's up guys, welcome to Daily Dose of Reddit, this is your host, Zach, and today, subreddit is r slash I do work your lady. Alright, this story's called, Manager Comes to Talk to Customer. Customer says, Who is this? I told you to get your manager up here. This is my first post, so let me know if I've done something wrong. Wait, you already messed up. You doubted yourself. Chin up, queen. <laughs> anyway, so this didn't happen directly to me, but happened to one of my managers. I was the original employee trying to help the customer. Sorry this is so long. Anyway, I work at a grocery store and always work the closing shift, so I end up dealing with some pretty rude customers frequently. A few weeks ago, I encountered one of the rudest customers ever in my three years at the grocery store. Now, this happened at about 9.30, at night and I was one of two employees still working the front end to help customers check out their groceries. It had been a very busy day so my coworker and I had to split up to get everything done. I stayed up front to help the customers while he was finishing the tasks we needed to get done and because I was alone only self checkout was open. There had been no customers for a bit so when I saw a customer start checking out her groceries at the self checkout I walked up to her said hi and asked if there was any Thing she would like help with. She was very polite and said hi, she didn't need help. So I walked away and kept myself busy with cleaning. When she finished and went to pay, her card was declined. Knowing that something had gone wrong, I walked up to see what was going on. Seeing her card had been declined, I told her what her options were. One, she could try her card a second time, as the systems and pin pads at the store weren't the best. Two, she could use another form of payment. And three, I could transfer her transaction to one of the regular registers where she could try her card again, and it would tell me why it was being declined if it got declined declined again. Still being polite, she opted to go with the first option and tried her card a second time. Again, her card was declined. This is when things went south. She turned to me with the look all Karens have and said very rudely, fix this. I walked back up to her and said, your options are still the same as before. For me to do anything, I would have to transfer the transaction to a regular register. She declined and tried her card again. It was declined for a third time. Again, she said, fix it. Now, like I said before, it was a busy day and I was stressed and tired, so I was getting annoyed. As politely as I could, I said, ma'am, like I said before, I can't do anything about this unless I transfer the transaction to a regular register. She wasn't having it and responded, now you can fix it here. Once again, I said, ma'am, like I have said three other times. I cannot do anything about this unless I transfer the transaction to a regular register. She really didn't like that and out came the line I really didn't want to hear. You are being effing rude to a customer. You can't do that. Get your manager up here now. I won't let you get away with this. I looked at her in surprise, then thought, what the heck? Why not? Nothing I'm saying is getting through to her anyway. So I walk over to the phone and page the manager manager to call the extension of the phone I was using. Apparently, the manager was close to the front of the store, so rather than calling the phone, he just came up to the front. When I saw him, I went up to him and said, Hey, manager, this customer would like you to talk to her. Her card won't go through and she's not letting me do what I can to help her. As I turn around to point out the customer to my manager, her jaw drops and she becomes even more angry and said, Who is this? I told you to get your manager up here. This is just another customer. Now get your manager up here. Now, the managers don't have to wear the same uniform as the rest of us, which is blue or black jeans, a solid colored collared shirt. <laughs> solid color collared shirt. I love that. Uh, an apron with the company name on it and a name tag. The managers just have to wear business casual clothes and a name tag. And that is what my manager was wearing. And upon hearing this, my manager said, I am the manager. My name his manager. Wow, it's like he was made for that job. He pointed at his name tag and continued. What seems to be the problem? 
The rude customer starts ranting. I tried to pay and my card isn't going through and this employee isn't doing anything to help. All she did was say, like I said, multiple times very rudely and saying nothing can be done here that she has to transfer the transaction. She should have just fixed it here where all my stuff is. And now I've tried my card four times and my phone says I have been charged four different times. Now, this may not sound like she is speaking rudely, but through all of this, she is dropping an F-bomb like every other word. After the rude customer finishes her rant, the manager turns to me and asks, what needs to be done to help her? He asks because he's one of the managers that doesn't know a whole lot about what is done up front at the registers as he is a grocery manager. I respond saying, I would have to transfer the transaction to a regular register and have her try her card again. The system will tell me why the card is being declined. My manager says to do it, so I transfer the transaction to a regular register and say, ma'am, please try your card again. She trudges over to the pin pad, I gesture to groaning. And what a shocker, her card got declined for a fifth time. The system gave me a message that basically told me I couldn't do anything about it and that the customer would have to contact her bank to figure out what's going on. She was not having it and erupted and yelling directed at me and my manager. She was claiming that her card had been charged for a fifth time, but that's not possible with the systems we have. Now, like I said, the manager that night didn't know a whole lot about the registers. He knew how to cashier, but he didn't know what to do, so he says he has to call the assistant store director to figure out what to do. He does so and we wait. During this time, more customers are coming through and need help, so I remove myself from the situation and help the other customers. At some point, my manager gets the car to go through and the rude customer leaves. I did overhear, though, that because she had claimed that her card had been charged a total of six times that the assistant store director would call her in the morning to sort everything out. After the rude customer left, the manager comes up to me and asks, she was rude, right? And I reply, yes, very. The manager goes back to his work and the rest of the night is pretty much uneventful. I thought I had heard the last of that rude customer, but the next day, the assistant store director talked to me about what had happened and wanted to get my side of the story as well. I told him everything and he nodded saying he thought so and told me that the customer had told him that I was the rude one and refused to help her. Luckily for me, the assistant store director knows me well and knows that I would never be rude to a customer. He also said that my story matched the story that the manager from the night before told him. Thankfully, since then, I have not had to deal with this customer again. But working in a grocery store, there are always rude customers and according to my coworkers, I seem to have to deal with most of them. Just my luck, right? Hey, at least your managers had your back and at least you don't have to deal with that nonsense anymore. At least until next week. Because, let's face it, grocery stores are like the one place where a Karen feels like she has control over her life. Because while her kids might not listen to her, those pesky grocery store employees have to. All right, this story's called Karen Got What She Had Coming. Today, I got a message from an old IT consultancy colleague of mine who runs his own small consultancy firm now. He was looking for someone who can hold his own, winky face, for one of his clients, which reminded me of this story. Background. About 10 years ago, freshly out of college, I started working for an IT consultancy firm. The first assignment I got was at a huge international company, which the site in my country had about 100 people working for them. Half of them were consultants from my employer, the other half were internal employees. I joined a small development team also half consultants and half internals. On site, there was a service manager from my employer who oversaw all consultants when it came to evaluations, bonuses, news from our employer, etc. The consultants reported to a manager from the company for work-related stuff, but the service manager from our employer for HR-related stuff. This story takes place in the beginning of January, and I just transitioned from consultant to internal employee after working with the client for a year and a half. 
Here are the characters. There's me, Ross, the big boss, the manager from the company client. Karen, the service manager, conveniently named Karen. Greg, good guy Greg, my colleague, the one who messaged me today. Story, I was on a conference call with Ross, Greg, and some people from a different site. Ross, Greg, and I were all sitting in a different location in the building. It was one of those meetings where you listen for an hour and only speak to say bye at the end. I had my noise-canceling headphones with microphone on, which had the company's logo on it. Ross gave it to me when I signed the contract with the company as it was a leftover from the Christmas presents they all got. Suddenly, Karen yanks the headphones off of my head and starts yelling, Answer me instead of listening to music, you frickin' weasel! I just sat there with my mouth open in shock, as I hadn't seen or hear her approaching me. And who the hell did you steal these headphones from? From? They're for internals only. But, but they're mine. Due to the initial shock, I couldn't find the words to explain I got transitioned to internal when she was on her month-long holiday in December, and clearly, she didn't get the memo. Stop lying to me, turd! Consider your ass fired! Me finding my composure back? You can't fire me. I don't work for you. And even if I did, you have no right to talk to me like that. At this point, my phone beeped. I glanced at my screen, and I saw a message from Greg. You're not on mute. Ross and me can hear the whole thing. You are a lying sack of crap, and stop looking at your phone when I'm talking to you! I don't work for you anymore, and if you keep talking to me like that, I will call security to have you removed. Who the hell do you think? She was interrupted by her own phone ringing, which apparently was a call from Ross. She answers her phone with all the fake jolliness she could muster after her tirade against me. But after that, all I heard her say was, Oh, no, sir. And yes, sir. Maybe I have to note that Ross, my manager, was the most senior manager on our site and therefore also the country manager who signed the contract with my old employer for which Karen worked. This was the only time in my life I saw someone age 20 years in a mere 15 seconds. Her face shifted from red to white as if if someone flipped a switch, she hung up and left without saying another word to me. Later, I found out that people had complained about her behavior before, but now she was caught red-handed and my manager made sure her services were not needed anymore. She also got fired from my old employer, as the company was their biggest contract and they couldn't afford to lose it due to Karen's actions. In some way, I have to thank her though, as I haven't had any problems with shutting down someone who's being abusive since that event. Wow, that's some swift justice for ya. Ross seems like a cool dude for, um, you know, getting, getting that under control right then and there. Also, Greg, you a real one. I know you didn't really do much there, but still, you were part of it, and you reassured them. This story's called, Manager Tells Me I Can't Carry a Gun While Working. Not sure if this belongs here, but I figured it was funny. A little setup. Years ago, I worked at Walmart. This was shortly after they changed the uniform to a vest. This was my day off and I stopped in to buy some ammo to go get some target practice. I was dressed in blue jeans, a black shirt that had a skull with two middle fingers up and the wording, don't FICO with me, on it. Definitely allowed as a customer, but not an on-the-clock employee. I also had my daily carry on my hip. Alright, so cast is me and assistant manager. I walk in and back to the sporting goods counter. I pick out the ammo and pull out my card. Assistant manager walks up. You need to leave. You can't wear that gun while you're here. Why not? We get customers wearing them daily. He began getting louder, nearly yelling now. They don't work here! And no one would know I did if you hadn't just told them. I work in the back. No one here knows my face. He turned and walked away. Epilogue. I worked the following day. I went in and he was waiting by the time clock. 
First, he pulled me into the office before I clocked in for a write-up. I requested the store manager to be there. Store manager shows up. Assistant manager begins to write me up. I refuse to sign acknowledgement until I clock in. Store manager tells me to go clock in. I'm now 15 minutes late. Store policy was 7 minutes at most. I do so and go back. Assistant manager tries to write me up for insubordination from the previous day. I explain to store manager what happened and he agrees I can't be insubordinate on my day off and that I was within my rights to wear my gun on my day off. We all leave the office. An hour later, assistant manager calls me back for another write-up, this time for clocking in late. Again, I refuse to sign until store manager is present, who proceeds to write up assistant manager for harassing me with a write-up for a situation he forced me into. Assistant manager and I had further issues, but that's a post for r slash I don't work your lady. Edit. I want to clarify, due to the apparent abundance of the anti-Second Amendment crowd on here, I wasn't carrying because I felt a need, or I was looking for conflict, or I planned on murder. To this day, I have one gun that's drawn blood once, and that was a dog. 25 years old, cancer-ridden, blind and deaf, couldn't run, couldn't crap right. Owner asked me to be quick and merciful. I carried it because my other option was to leave it in my car unattended, which could result in it being stolen. We had had a ton of break-ins. It was safest on my person, though I shouldn't be forced to explain myself. Per Montana law, I am legally allowed to open carry in businesses that allow it, outside of government buildings and bars. And per the First Amendment, I am allowed to express myself. If that comes in the form of a graphic tee, then so be it. Yes, guys, come on, now is not the time for political discussion. It has no place in here. If it was something controversial, then maybe, but there's no controversy here. Even if you don't agree with the law, he's still within the law. So, I mean... How much can you judge him? Okay, uh, okay, don't answer that because there are some very bad things that are that are legal. <laughs> but th this isn't one of those things. He's just doing his thing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to never miss an episode.